So here they're giving us the line y equals 2x plus 5, which I've graphed for us here, and they're giving us this point 0.55, and we're trying to find the shortest distance from this point to this line. Now the thing you want to realize is that when you measure the distance from a point to a line, you're talking about the shortest distance, which is going to be the perpendicular distance. So it's going to be a perpendicular distance from this point to this line. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to find the slope of this line, which you can see here because this is in the y equals mx plus b form of the line, that 2 is our slope. Now, if we want to find the slope of the line that's going to be perpendicular to this line through the point 5, 5, we're going to need to use the opposite reciprocal of this slope. So the opposite reciprocal of 2 is negative 1 half. So I just took that 2 over 1 and I flipped it over and then I made it the opposite sign. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the point slope form of a line, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Now we know it's going through uh, this point 5, 5 and it's going to be perpendicular to this line. So let's go ahead and put in uh, what we know. The points are 5 and 5, so we've got 5 for our y coordinate, negative 1 half for our slope, 5 for our x coordinate. So this represents the equation of the line that's going to be going through this point, okay, like that, and perpendicular to that line. But now what we're going to do is we're going to try to find out where these two lines cross. We're going to find the coordinates of this point right here. Then what we can do is we can use the distance formula to find that distance. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to simplify this equation a little bit more for us by distributing the negative 1 half. Then I'm going to add 5 to the other side, so that's y equals negative 1 half x, add 5, so 5 is really like uh, 10 over 2, so that's going to be plus 15 over 2. And now we have the, our two equations. I'm going to set them equal to each other to find that point of intersection. So I'm going to put 2x plus 5 in for y here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multiply through by 2 just to clear the denominator. So if I multiply everything in this equation times 2, we get 4x plus 10 equals negative x plus 15. Now that'll make it a little bit easier to solve. So if I add x to both sides, that's going to be 5x. If I subtract 10 from both sides, that's going to be 5. And if I divide by 5, you can see that x equals 1. Now if I put 1 back in, to either equation, I'll just put it into this equation here, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 5 is 7. So you can see that these points are going to cross here at 1 comma 7, 1 7. Now all we have to do is find the distance from 1 7 to 5 5 and we've got it. So just a refresher, the distance formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1, the quantity squared, and you take the square root of that. So in this case we've got, let's see, 5 minus 1 squared plus 5 minus 7 squared. Add those together and take the square root. So that's 4 squared, which is 16, negative 2 squared, which is 4. This is the square root of 20. Square root of 20 is 4 times 5. Square root of 4 is 2. So this is going to be 2 square root of 5. So that's the shortest distance from the point to the line. So I hope this helped you to understand how to work through these problems a little bit better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on Mario's Math Tutoring YouTube channel. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.